Now, let's talk about some recruiting because everything that he gets is deserved as well. All right, so there's a lot of names that we need to talk about here. Uh, first of all, two guys that I would be fairly surprised if they don't become Arizona Wildcats. Braden Burry's obviously a kid that is uh, close with uh, Carter Bryant and uh, Jamari Phillips. He, I expect him at some point to be an Arizona uh, Wildcat. And then Toon Day. Toon Day, Sheer and I go back and forth a little bit on Toon Day. Toon Day to me is the one who... I don't honestly, I'm not sold on him as a college player. I think he's going to be solid, but he's also a six, five power forward. Um, he looks a lot like Stanley from a max perspective. What's the difference between, and, and someone brought this up at the board and I actually think there is a difference, but what's the difference between Toon Day and KJ Lewis? Well, KJ Lewis is, you can look at KJ Lewis and see that he's got a natural ability. He just looks different physically. Toon Day's bigger. KJ Lewis looks. I think Toon Day's bigger, but they have similar games. They're the same height. Yeah, but you watch, here's the thing with KJ Lewis. You watch KJ Lewis though, and you could tell that the shot really, he doesn't make the shot, but the shot isn't broken. He has a real knack for being around the ball. He strikes me as a perimeter player that it will eventually be one. I don't know that I ever looked at Toon Day from the two times I've watched him and said that that is a perimeter player. He looks to me like a power forward. That's fair. I think Toon Day is a lot more like Stanley. I think that's that's yeah. a, a solid comparison. I mean, you take. I mean, you obviously take him. I'm curious, where are you guys going to finish with him in the ranking as far as that? Because he doesn't feel to me like a five-star kid. Uh, I think he drops to a four-star. That right. would be my guess. High to I, don't four know in there. I don't know if Bossy's that high on him, right. uh, but yeah. All right, now let's talk about Will Riley a little bit. This is uh, what should what should Arizona fans know about Will Riley? Uh, that kid's awesome. I owe yeah. him a phone call, but he is really really good. Uh, I like how he fits the Tommy system. He's blown up a little bit again. I think Oregon offered the other day. Mm -hmm. UCLA has offered recently. Uh, I found him, or yeah, no, I'm, I'm taking credit for him. All right, go ahead. All right, yeah, fair enough. Good. Now, as far as a decision, as far as a decision goes, like is that that's going to be a ways off, though, right? Yeah, the only one that I know of that is probably relatively close to a decision is Toon Day, and that's just a matter of I I don't know when he feels like committing. I would say Arizona, and look, things change, recruiting, all that bull crap. I would say Arizona is the heavy leader for Toon Day, but I don't know when he's going to commit. All right. Now, a kid that I'm actually a little bit interested in, his father, I just believe, got the job at Inglewood, is uh, Jason Crow. Now, you don't like Crow nearly as much as I do. Um, uh, I do not. I think he shoots quite a lot. A you, lot. You do not. So is this? could this be Caleb Love 2.0 for Jason Shear? Uh, no. I. You know, look, I, I think he's good. I don't know how well. I don't know. I don't know how well he would fit in with Arizona. You saw him once, Mike. Yeah, he scored a lot. I was impressed. <laughs> he's good. I, don't get me wrong. He's good. Where are we at with Cam Holmes? Uh, another priority. Very good. Very, very good. I would like 2026. They're not committing anytime soon. I know, but, but, but man, people love this stuff. I can't tell you how many DMS I get from people asking me about 2027 or 2026 kids. I um, know. so, you know, I figured we'd throw that uh, one out there. I um, I is not going to Arizona. I would be very surprised. The rumor is he wants to reclassify and I don't think Arizona wants to take him. If he reclassifies, that was we talking time. about. Jason Sanon or whatever his yeah. name is. It's a great name, by the way. Um, yeah. All right. Now let's move over to our, right, now, as far as uh, uh, any basketball, what other names do we need to know, Jason Shearer? Uh, I think people need to know that Arizona is still very much in on Coa Pete. I know you don't hear about him very much. You may take some unofficial visits elsewhere. Uh, Arizona is very, very in on him. There is a personal factor there that I'm not getting into that actually should help Arizona. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you know what it is, Mike, but, uh, you know, it, and so that's a situation where Arizona is, uh, is very, very much in the picture for him. There's Braden Burries. Arizona is very much in the picture for him. There's Dwayne Aristod, who I think Arizona is kind of in the picture, but probably not as much as others. All right. Now, um, I mentioned this the other day, and I got somebody from his camp message me about this. Elijah Arenas. Uh, again, I stand on what I said. They just laughed that I said that he could go play in Bangladesh, and it would not surprise me in the least. I will uh, I will stand by that. Now, are the uh, Pete, Pete's very, very good. What I will say about Koa Pete is this, is that he's also – Koa Pete is really, really good, but I also – I could see him continuing to drop a little bit in the rankings, not a ton – 
because you watch him and he is not somebody that has a finite NBA position. He's very, very good, but he's also not. Say, what, what position is Koa Pete? I mean, he's, he's a, a four. He's a four, but he's going to try to do the thing where he pretends he's a three. Um, Cannot get threes at all <sighs> whatsoever. Totally agree. All right, now let's move on to a little bit of Arizona football recruiting. Are there any names that we should know, Sheer? Uh, I'll say this. Alonzo Carter is not shying away from top-rated running backs. It's pretty cool to see. Uh, I think that recruiting, they're still kind of getting their feet wet a, a little bit. There haven't been a ton of offers. I would expect a bunch of offers to go in the in the spring. Um, there's offensive linemen that I've talked to that I think they're doing uh, pretty well with overall. Uh, you know, Ben Howard, Zach Stasowski. There's a tight end named Kellen Ford who's going to be visiting, who, who is very good. So they have some guys um, that they've kind of offered and are talking to. But, you know, this is a coaching staff also that's kind of getting the lay of the land with recruiting a little bit. Yeah, and I will say this. Uh, the uh, Some of the offers from the wide receiver offers that were given earlier, like a Barry Hill, those ones still stand. Yeah. Um, they would definitely take him. Um, that's going to be an interesting one, as you know. Many of you know uh, he's moved on to Pinnacle up in uh, Phoenix. But there's some really good uh, there's some really good options there as well. Well,